Motor neuron disease is an umbrella term used to encompass a bunch of diseases that purely affect the motor neurons, and they can be very debilitating. There are four main diseases that fall under this umbrella, listed on screen right now. So starting on the left-hand side, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, is a condition that affects both upper and lower motor neurons, and it is actually the most common type of motor neuron disease. Primary lateral sclerosis is a form that just affects the upper motor neurons. Progressive muscular atrophy, on the other hand, just affects the lower motor neurons. And progressive bulbar palsy just affects cranial nerves 9 to 12. And given that it just affects those nerves, it usually presents with dysarthria and dysphagia. So in case you need a little prompt about the differences between upper and lower motor neuron signs, uh, they can be seen at the bottom left. So the key points to remember are the different types of motor neurons involved because common exam questions focus on describing either upper motor neuron signs or lower motor neuron signs or both and asking you to figure out which of these diagnoses is most likely. Regarding the management, again, it's a chronic progressive neurodegenerative disorder that is very hard to treat and a lot of it does focus around trying to manage symptoms as best as possible. So quinine for muscle cramps, glycopyrrolate for, um, for excessive secretions and improving and optimizing the exercise and nutrition are very, very important measures to take. There are a couple of interventions which are known to be of prognostic benefit. Rylazol is an agent that is thought to extend patients' lives uh, by a few months and non-invasive ventilation is also very useful once patients become uh, so weak that their respiratory muscles are no longer functioning as well as they would be otherwise. Thank you.